currently doing CIS 512 Enterprise Architecture and today I'm going to present a Zachman Framework. Zachman Framework it's a logical it's a logical structure intended to provide a comprehensive representation of an information technology enterprise. It allows for multiple perspective and categorization of business artifacts. The grandchild of John Zachman, who conceived the idea in 1987, the full technical name is Zachman Framework for Enterprise Architecture and Information System Architecture. The Zachman Framework gathers and refines a principle from older methods. It has a structure or framework independent of the tools and, met and methods used in any particular IT business. The framework defines how perspectives are related according to certain rules or abstraction. A framework takes the form of a 36 cell table with six rows, scope, business model, system model, technology model, components, and working system, and six columns, who, what, when, where, why, and how. Row 1, scope, enterprise requirement, a driver's business function modeling. Row 2, enterprise model, business process model. Row 3, system model, logical model, requirements definition. Row 4, technology model, physical models, solution definition and development. Row 5, as built, as built deployment. Row 6, functioning enterprise, functioning enterprise evaluation. That man provide the following rules to assist the reader in understanding ISA and its application. Its application. Rule 1. The columns has no order. Order implies priority and creates a pass towards one aspect at the expenses of others. All columns are equally important because all are abstractions of the same enterprise. Rule 2. Each column has a simple basic model. Each column represents an abstraction from the real world for con contents of description. These models include data, what, function, how, network, where, people, who, time, when, and motivation, why. Rule 3. The basic model of each column must be unique. The individual model may be related to one another because they are all abstractions of the same real-world enterprise, but each model represents a separate and unique concept. Rule 4. Each column represents a distance perspective. This rule is most easily demonstrated by, uh, by the business model system model and technology model rows which represent the owner's architects and builder's perspectives. Each perspective, perspective is different because it deals with a different set of constraints. Rule five, rule 5. Each cell is unique. Since each column has unique basic model that makes each column unique and each row has a different perspective. Each cell in a framework is unique. Rule 6. Combining the cells in one row forms a complete model. Row forms a complete model. The sum of all cells in a given row is the most complete depiction of reality from the perspective of that row. As a new cell in a given row are defined, each new cell description must be consist with the perspective of that row. Each cell in a given row can be defined and it and is independent of any other cell in the row. Yet, each cell is 
but one abstraction of some perspective of reality. Therefore, each cell is related to every other cell in the same row. Thank you, and my reference is uh, Zaxman Framework Wikipedia, and have a good day. Thank you.